Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths. Let's build. Where this let's build is a thing that absolutely no one asked for and I in fact had to... Weirdly enough, I tried to do a let's build recording of this exact concept uh, not too long ago but I hated the end result so we're doing it again. We're doing it live. We're not doing it live. Uh, basically, it was this silly, weird idea I had in my head of like, you know what would be really contrasting and stupid? A sailboat that is armed with lasers. There's just something about that whole concept that tickles me, and I really like sailcraft in From the Depths. Like, it's... they're not combat viable, really, and we'll see, uh, believe me, we're gonna see that <laughs> uh, later on in this very video, but... There is just something about, like, you know, moving for free, using the wind. It might be because, like, I have, like, you know, I'm an environmentalist and I... Anything that, like, free energy is something I really like. The sun, the wind, and that's it, basically. Geothermal, I guess? And tidal, I guess. Anyway, so uh, that's what we're doing uh, in this whole shebang, is basically making a sailcraft that is well armed with lasers and these are like the whole plan was to have it kind of be like an early game craft which is why it doesn't really have countermeasures and stuff like that but also um like this is a test vehicle testing the concept and i can safely say that uh that you know the concept is kind of meh like you probably already knew that but you, you know if you don't test it you never find out it's why scientists uh test uh like assumptions that people have held for like hundreds of years like you know does eating chicken soup is that good for a cold uh, apparently it isn't by the way but um but yeah but what does help is like you know lots of fluids and rest and you know just nutrition so it does work but not the way that you think it does but safe to say this kind of i guess somewhat scientific exploration of a laser thing uh, a sailboat armed with lasers uh, yeah, a bit, eh, don't try it if you uh, if you want to get good results, because uh, you won't. In fact, um, like the sails are ultimately rendered pointless in this whole endeavor because uh, lasers require power, which requires an engine of some kind. The whole point of sails is that you can move without needing an engine at all, so if your weapon system needs an engine, you might as well just have a little bit of extra engine and have the thing move you know, I was about to say the old-fashioned way, but sails are very old-fashioned. Um, move the sensible way with propellers or jets or what have you. So, yeah, like, I uh, can't recommend silly, but it is fun. Also, I really like the look of the thing uh, once I'd ended up with it. The main problem with sails uh, that you probably already knew, or at least when it comes to combat craft, you'll see I'm going back and forth on screen willy-nilly, is that um, because they rely on the wind and the wind only really blows in one direction at a time um the thing is constantly maneuvering around and just trying to get in the wind and not doesn't have really that freedom of movement that something that doesn't rely on sails does which is why sail ships are obsolete in modern warfare and have been for quite some time but yeah so uh the other problem, and this is probably going to drive people nuts as they're watching it, is that I mistakenly had enabled reverse on this, and sails don't work in reverse. Like, you know, sh shocking to hear, uh, they don't work in reverse. <laughs> and so you really need to remember to turn that off if you're going to have a ship. Also, uh, my first attempt at this, by the way, which we will never see because it's disgusting and I'm ashamed of myself, is um, I tried to make an airship, and it's just, it just everything went wrong. Um, you need a lot of sail if you want to get an airship moving fast enough to stay aloft just with like plane controls and um, didn't have that and the helium pumps did not help uh, because um, funny enough like all the stuff that you require for combat like engines laser components AI bits and stuff like that uh, that is um that's heavy so you can't just rely on helium pumps and stuff I really do got to make a zeppelin of some kind though because that's something i've been meaning to do too i've been meaning to do too many things in front of the desk but at the end of the day um if a cram need has taught me anything you must do the thing which is fun because there's literally no point doing anything else this is a video game that's what it, it's there for fun 
But of course I keep forgetting that. Uh, but anyway, so you'll see that this is also not a super amazing armor scheme. This whole thing's made of alloy, so there goes the whole idea of it being a starter clock, because alloy is kind of expensive. And um, yeah, so the main reason it's alloy is just so the thing is super light and floats. Um, because we do want that. This is this is actually a hydrofoil craft, or at least it's going to be. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute in the video. Because that's, like, you know, sails don't really have enough thrust uh, in order to make things go fast if it's a surface displacement craft. Um, yeah, like, I seem to recall... You know what? Just for fun, I'm going to look up uh, fastest age of sail ship to give you an idea. And then I'm going to compare that to a modern uh, racing yacht. So, fastest... Is Wi-Fi on? Yes. Fastest... Age... Okay. It's very humid, so my fingers are not working very well right now. Uh, fastest age of sail ship. Okay. The Endemid... I can't pronounce this. Endymion? The Endymion? It's spelled E-N-D-Y-M-I-O-N, in case you're wondering. Um, anyway, so fastest sailing ship in the Royal Navy during the Age of Sail, logging 14.4 knots, or 26.7 kilometers per hour. I don't know what that is in miles, I apologize. Uh, sailing large, and nearly 11.0 knots, or 20.4 kilometers an hour, a uh, close hold. So, I don't know what uh, sailing large and close hold means. Presumably, I'm guessing that's when it's uh, loaded down and when it isn't. Um, but yeah, so about 20 kilometers an hour, I think, is... Uh, one kilometer per hour slower than the fastest, um, you know, than the fastest a human being can run, which is, I think, still Usain Bolt. And uh, here we're seeing the rubber or the hydrofoil bits being uh, put in there. That, and that's just because I've learned the hard way many times is that your ships will try to make love to the land. They just love it. Uh, okay, so remember that number, 20, uh, 14.4 knots. I'm going to look at fastest racing yacht. Fastest... Racing sailboat. Okay, so the uh, current record holder is the Vestas Sail Rocket 2, and there's a picture of it, and yeah, that's definitely a hydrofoil of some kind. Uh, or at the very least, it comes clean out of the water. Uh, average speed of 65.5 knots, so... Yeah, I totally... Let's Build is becoming an interesting uh, concept when I'm just googling stuff, so... Web search. So that whoa, that is a 121.3 kilometers an hour. So that's really damn fast. Admittedly, the yacht is a lot smaller, but you get the idea. Like um, with modern technology, like things can really go fast just using the wind. Oh yeah. So uh, getting back to what's actually happening on stream. Uh, on stream? I'm not stream. Borderwise. Remember where you are. I refuse. I will always forget where I am. But anyway, so these are just some prefabbed uh, laser turrets that I've used here, there, and everywhere. I believe I've used these... I think I originally uh, built them for the Stahlslang Mark II, actually. Uh, yeah. So they are just all around useful. Made them once. And they're made, being made of alloy, so the thing isn't too top-heavy. And what follows is, like, uh, let's see... I think about... 20-something minutes of faffing around? Uh, the sails, by the way, sail. another reason why sails are generally a bad idea for combat craft. Again, you probably already know this, because it's bleeding obvious and arguably didn't require testing, but you know what? I felt like a sailboat, so I made one. Is that the sails are delicate, you look at them and they've got basically no health, and it's. I think it's kind of because they've been overlooked in pretty much every single block durability update that uh, has ever been released for From the Depths. They're just... No one uses them, so no one was saying, hey, can we buff sails, uh, please? What would be nice for sails is um, is to be able to change their appearance, because I know a lot of people, and I, by a lot of people I mean just a few who have commented every time I've done a sail relating to thing. I have a tutorial on Sailcraft, by the way, which you should watch if you haven't watched it already. And you can watch it again if you like. Free will is awesome like that, which is why you should do what I tell you. <laughs> That's stupid. Anyway, so, um, yeah, they're very delicate, and of course, if you have a mast, as I do right here, uh, they get shot off immediately. Like, 
you need to defend them very well, which just, you know, adds to the cost, it adds to block count, it adds to blah blah blah, it adds to everything. And uh, I hope you're enjoying me fiddling around with blocks so the exhausts have something to do, because, uh, yeah, I actually undo that later, because it turns out I don't have enough juice for the lasers. I thought I did. I do not. I actually miscounted. The, each laser system, which is separate, by the way, for each turret, requires around 3,200. I've only got 5,000 down in the lower right corner, so immediate, like you can immediately tell that this is this is not going well. We've got teething troubles in here. So yeah, this is uh, this whole thing is silly, and was arguably doomed to failure from the start. But weirdly enough, the end result is something I'm kind of happy with. I actually really do like this rather weird superstructure up here. It's like it's almost like a crow's nest. But like a futuristic one, I actually do like the. I do end up liking the way this thing looks, if nothing else. And there is, I think, like you know, like this is the second attempt at doing what I am, you know, making a laser sailcraft. And um, third attempt might be the one that actually does it. Not that I'm gonna have a third attempt because you know, why would you? We get it. <laughs> yeah. But I think actually as well, part of the problem with this is the the way the From the Depths AI likes to do things is that it uh, often slows down uh, during turns, uh, which is, um, well, to help it make the turn, which on the one hand is good because it allows things to turn a little bit better, but on the other hand that is instant death for sails because if the sails drop the thing stops catching the wind and then just does a stupid and it's bad. Uh, so it might be... Uh, a good idea just for a sailboat to just, you know, when there's an enemy nearby, the sails are up, and, you know, that's it. Like, you know, you, you've gotta stop. But then again, that could mean that you could run onto land very easily. But then again, 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 I think we're on the third hand or something right here. Um, that's why there's rubber on the underside of this thing. So, I don't know, I'm thinking out loud. I am just letting thoughts fall out of my mouth as you do, as you do, as you do, and just setting up restrictions on the turrets because you don't want them to shoot at things that they don't want to do. That was a weird way to put it. Yeah, so I do actually find that like um, you're better off with sails to like completely internalize them to actually like just hide them inside the hull because they still work for some reason. They shouldn't, and that's another little sign that like they haven't been updated in like years or maybe ever so not that there's any rush for that like I gotta admit like I'm not sure what the people want these days I haven't been paying attention um, but yeah like in terms of everything that the From the Depths developers could be doing I'm not sure that sales is at the top of their list it's like I'm not sure what is at the top of the list right now. I really got to go check that. There's a development roadmap. Hang on, we can do that right now. Uh, let's do that right here. Let's do that, let's do that. Am I still being recorded? I am indeed. From the depths roadmap. Okay, current really Steam news. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so this is 2020. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, what do 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 Alright, what was it? This is old, what I'm looking at here, so... From 2020 I'm reading, so I'm gonna just scroll down... I'm trying to remember... Yeah, this was three years ago, dude, so... Uh, Alright, so I'm spotting... Post release, let's see. Yeah, well, all right. So the main thing, the, the main thing I'm seeing here is make the flamer. <laughs> so, yeah, this is I don't I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I don't know who. Oh, oh. Why does love do this to me? Oh, hey, the thing's moving. That's awesome. And you'll notice that um, this is kind of typical. I, what I do with uh, sailcraft is uh, I use uh, aircraft components to help them steer 
Because that generally works better. You stick a rudder in the water for something that's trying to pop out of the water. The thing just ends up pitching and rolling something silly. And uh, we are going zipping along at a not very fast pace. Which is... Alright, well, we're going at full speed, like something like 40 meters per second, which is okay, I guess. But yeah, for some reason, uh, this particular fella is, um... Yeah, we're spawning against the flying squirrels a lot. And this is why combat test is a great idea, because I think around here I realized that, um... I haven't set the detection up right, unless I just wasn't watching my own video and I just completely missed that bit. I was too busy trying to figure out what the devs are planning next. And of course I could have opened up Discord, but no, I refuse. I don't play by your rules. I kind of do though. The laws of physics. The rules of physics. Alright, so I think actually this is the part where I realized that like, yeah, I'm going to need more engines. And then I realized I don't have room for another uh, set of the engines I'm using. So I'm just like, you know what? Bugger it. This is a test vehicle. I don't care. We're just going to have the 3x3. Uh, exhaustless injectors again like and I really love that engine because here's the thing there are people in front of the depths who are real engine nerds and that's awesome because they tend to share their results uh, with the rest of us who are not engine nerds I don't care about engines really it is one of the least interesting parts of the game for me and I realize it's an important one because uh, and this is possibly why I don't I'm not a huge fan of energy weapons in front of the depths even though they're amazing is that lasers and particle cannons, uh, the real challenge isn't making the laser or the particle cannon, it's making the thing that powers it. So that's hard. That is challenging. And this is actually, yeah, I try the, I try the Katarina, as I call her. It's just a very average uh, engine. It's not bad, it's not good. And uh, yeah, it's not going to do the trick. Nope, not going to do the trick at all. So then we're just going to say bugger everything for a lock and we're going to just have the injectors which really makes this thing stupid because the whole point the whole ding dang point of a uh, of the sailboat is that it doesn't use you know materials to move but all of that is immediately wasted because it uses way too much materials when it's fighting so yeah kind of lost the plot a little bit but it can zap squirrels, and that's nice. And you see, we're kind of floundering right now. And I think that is because at this point I haven't disabled reverse. Also, sticking the exhausts. Like, I don't know why. No, no, I don't have exhausts anymore. What am I saying? Um, you know, well, not having countermeasures is my first problem. But uh, also, I don't know why the squirrels just. The, their missiles keep going for the hydrofoils of all things. Or at least that seems like what they're doing. Yeah. This thing looks way more combat effective, like, at times two speed, I do have to say. Uh, but it can shoot down squirrels, and that's okay. That is okay, that is grand. Uh, really what you want... Um, something like that. Let's shoot at an Atlas. And the Atlas is great. So, by the way, uh, that laser setup, in case you missed it, does about 10,000 damage per shot, which means it's actually kind of a laser penetrator, which is quite fun, and it's exactly what I wanted. And that's the, yep, there you go, there you go, you just figured it out, dummy. You just figured it out. Except this thing is still floundering because, you know, where the wind is blowing is not actually the same thing as, like, what direction you want to go in, and I'm not sure how to fix this. Um, yeah, now I look at it again, that just might not be, that just might be something insurmountable. <sighs> Shame, shame, shame on my house, shame on my cow for thinking that this could work. I am heartbroken. And that's just so we can remember which end is which, because I'm very bad at remembering which end is which. And, well, this is this is the point where we mess with camo. Like, if you've done everything else, it's like, hmm, how can we do this? Yay for wheelies. Yay for big wheelies. I like big wheels and I cannot lie. What I actually might want to do is, like, could set up, like, three different masts, I guess. One of them being in the middle or something. Uh, but yeah, that's like sails are not generally used on combat craft for very good reason. I do kind of want to make a 
sail like a, like a battleship that uses sails, mostly because that'll be hilarious, and also like really unoptimized. Like the thing will get clapped by absolutely everything, simply because so much block count will be wasted on uh, you know making big sails. But you never know. I couldn't just internalize all of them. I also have been thinking about like giving ring shields another go, but. Um, yeah, who was it? Like, uh, Brenzo, actually. Like, I watch. If you haven't watched Brenzo's, like, uh, series on, like, rebuilding Robert's Ragnarok, I do recommend it. It's a, it's a good watch. It's, um, it's entertaining, for one, and quite informative in others. And it's just, it's very relatable for anyone who's, like, tried to build, like, anything big in front of the depths, and especially relatable for anyone who's tried to retrofit something, because, my goodness, it's way more work than building something from scratch. So, yeah. Like, uh, and in one of those, uh, is pointing out, uh, the problem with ring shields and how they're kind of bad is, well, firstly, um, they give a small, like, they just basically give a small damage reduction, and it is quite small, and is only effective against things that probably aren't much of a threat to you anyway, like pure HE and flak and stuff like that, uh, but, big but, but, uh, their main problem is that they're so volatile, so I think I've said it before, in uh, videos on I've done on shields and stuff like that, is that ring shields would just be so much better uh, if they were not volatile. Like, there's no, ah, oh, this is a fun fight, we actually win this one, and that, yep, right there, that is the problem with sails. They're not well protected enough. We actually get completely immobilized, but thankfully, the rest of the ship is armored enough that it doesn't matter. So, yeah, that's a problem, like, trying to armor the sails and armor the sail blocks, very difficult. Very difficult indeed. Should have completely internalized them. But I didn't. But that, those lasers, if nothing else, I'm proud of those, because they're like, they're almost like, you know, optical railguns almost in what they're doing, and this, the, I just, on a whim, decided to try that configuration, like a mixture of destabilizers and, uh, what do you call it? Uh, single shot, what do you call it? Like, storage? Like, you know, the small storage thingies. Those ones. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so ring ships kind of suck, and it, I think we can get away with just having them, like, be non-volatile, and this thing that the sailboat is doing where it just stops moving is, like, the worst. But now it's moving kind of how I want it to, mostly. Shooting down the little dusters. That's what we like to see. That, that. Zap. Zap. Yay, zap. Zap, zap. Zap, zap. Zap, zap. Oh, boy. So, yeah, it's like, let me know what you th uh, think of the thought of, like, combining high-tech and low-tech stuff, because I find it kind of weirdly fun. That's because it's so, it's so silly. It's, like, such a silly premise. It's like, hang on, you have technology for, like, powerful lasers that go zap, zap. Like, the big zap, zap, too. And, but you're using sails. What's wrong with you? And yeah, that's actually, it's a, actually kind of a successful design. There's a lot wrong with it, but like, it's a kind of, it's a decent proof of concept, I feel. And I got the excuse to make a long skinny hull, which as you probably know, makes me quite happy. So yeah, there we go. Falconhine taken down, we're just bouncing along, being all cool. Could make those sails a lot bigger. What could really work well, actually, is making, just making, uh, just making, like, the ship very, very long, and just having short sails, but, you know, they just kind of roll along and do stuff, and that's just real cool. So, yeah, that's basically it, uh, it for this, like, you know, laser sailboat. Great fun. And, yeah, random thing. Let me know what else, uh, what you want me to build. Like, no promises, because, like I said, I'm gonna try and focus on doing things in front of the depths that I find fun. Because uh, apparently that's just, like, that's more fun to watch for people as well, which is good news, I guess. So if you're wanting me to do stuff that is insane or silly, well, I don't know, I'll consider it at the very least. And anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks that are for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell.